G'day, I'm Matt Davey. Today we're looking at the hive that we've only been using drawn comb in for OSBN. And now we're having a look at the, the super above the queen excluder and seeing if we need to add another super. I've just opened it up and I can see the bees are using about six of the frames in this 10 frame box. So we'll look at the box below the queen excluder and move up two honey frames from there. But I won't be looking at the bottom brood box because uh, we're now in the main flow. And from now on, bees tend to focus more on the honey and so frames added to the bottom brood box tend to not get uh, much attention and we see a lot of pollen being put down the bottom box as well. So I'll just have a look at the brood box uh, directly underneath the queen excluder and just make sure there's no signs of queen cells. And we'll move up a couple of honey frames. So basically we just open up the sides of the box. The honey has been stored in the, the supers from now on. So let's have a look. So this is the second frame in, from the edge, and it's full of nectar. So there's nectar on both sides of this. So I will add a super on today. All right, I'll just shake the bees off this. This frame to the side. So I'll leave this space empty and we'll take out this other side frame as well. Um, as I said, the bees tend to not work on the outside frames as much as the second frame in. So we'll put new frames in from our, soup, our new super into these two spots here. We don't need to check the rest of this box um, because it's all a honey super because of the queen excluder. Okay, so, so this frame has actually got very little nectar in it at all. So we will leave this one in here. and we'll have a look at the frame next to it. So this has definitely got a lot of nectar in it. So we'll move that one up into the new super as well. Again, I'll shake the bees off this. So I put out empty frame in here and our nectar frame into our super. Again our empty frame in In our frame of nectar in the super. So now let's have a look underneath the queen excluder.
Just shake off the bees from their queen excluder. Put this over here. As usual, have a look at this second frame in from the edge first. As I said, because it's starting to rain, the bees are more agitated that we're in the hive. I'll lift this frame out. It's quite heavy and it's got drone comb as well as lots of nectar and honey. Let's put this frame down side here. Have a look at some brood frames. And we have brood in there mixed with nectar. Let's have a look at this next frame. Lots of larvae there, surrounded by nectar. So we're seeing backfilling of the brood nest here with nectar. Lots of larvae there. And again, backfilling of the brood nest. But no signs of queen cells at all. We'll look at this frame. More brood that's been backfilled. We're actually wanting the brood nest to be backfilled from now on because any bees or any eggs that are laid now it'll be six weeks or so before they are foragers. By that time the main flow will be over so it's not a big issue. Again more drone comb that's been backfilled. No queen cells in this top box at all, so we can assume that they're not interested in swarming. I've only seen one queen cup in this whole brood box. Again, more backfilling. So that's our last brood frame. You can see the side frame has no brood on it. Pull out these empty combs and we'll put them on each side of this brood box. This is the outside frame, it's full of nectar, so I'll put this frame up into the new super and shake off all of these, make sure the queen's not on it, 
because we don't want the queen above the excluder. And we put our empty frame on the other side. Move all the frames back across. And put the empty frame in. Now, even though this frame here has drone brood on it. I'm still going to move it up into the top super because it's all capped and there's no eggs at all. I'm not so concerned about drone brood. So again we need to shake this frame off. Make sure the queen isn't on it. So we've now got four frames of nectar and honey in our super that's going on the top. So we've got two or three empty frames in our super just directly above the queen excluder and we've put in two empty combs in the top brood box there. Alright, let's put it all back together. I need to get all these bees out of the way. Super back on. Get some more bees down. Have you put the top super on? Alright, so now we have two supers on our hive. Enjoy beekeeping.